everyone, welcome back to Avenue with Genga. So, uh, always one of my most fun days is the first day of the event. I kind of hate it when it's on Yimmer Day because it's just so overwhelming. But uh, let's go through it. So, one of the fun things I liked was uh, they added this part where you got to go to the nose board and you got to re read everything. Uh, some stuff's kind of uh, eye opening in terms of. I think it means some events are going very poorly for them financially because they've made them more rewarding. So, and then some are obviously doing very well. And I'll tell you what I think of this event, if it's worth spending on or not. So running of the bulls, what is this? So, okay, so this is nothing. This is just the name of the event. I guess I don't understand why they have all these different events as if like, oh, wow, this is going to be the event that Spanish people spend a lot of money on Ebony, this one, like whatever. Okay, and then here we have... Uh, same thing, just doesn't advertise anything there. Lost Treasures event, okay. So all of this is the same stuff that I just read on the notice board. So let's go through it. So first thing, one of the things I noticed was these dragon gemstones are now in the daily packs. And that is actually the key to this event in terms of it actually does make it a very profitable event to spend money on. Profitable for Ebony, obviously, but you get a lot of return because you get coins that you can then use in here in the dragon shop and you could get more meteoric stones. You could get some fragments and then a bunch of garbage. So, you know, if you spent enough to get, uh, I guess you would want to get 500 of these. Is that is my math correct there? And then you would be able to get all the meteoric stones, maybe some of the other stuff. I don't know how much money that would take to do that. But uh, so there is a lot of value. It kind of reminds me of about four months ago, they did this blazon sale where every pack you purchased, you got coins to buy extra blazons. So that was a very profitable. And it actually, sadly, the one of the worst things was it actually took place during pink gems so everyone who pink gemmed has amazing blazons and blazons are such a game changer it's one of the hidden things that lots of people don't know that it was actually a really profitable time to coin as well in ebony if you are going to coin use aptoid promo code Genghis sunday after svs as soon as svs ends there's the 30 percent day so if you want to hold off till then that is perfectly understandable and do your coining then um Let's uh, continue to look at the different things in the event. Dragon Lee here, hero, rallying for the alliance. So other things that they have here. So my thoughts on uh, this dragon event, actually, I wanted to say was I think this event has done super poorly for them financially. And they probably invested so much in these graphic graphics that that's why they're adding it to the daily packs because they're starting to realize that people aren't going to spend here 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 people just want to do old school ebony purchases buy the daily pack give me everything so that's a little bit annoying but it's also a little bit nice that they're bringing it back so wheel of secret past that's uh you know, I guess it doesn't end. I did a video last event that said um, you have to coin for this one event, one uh, item. And well, I guess Ebony's realized, hey, people coined for that item. Let's have a wheel for an item for the ideal land every single event. So I totally understand if you're going to say, yeah, this just isn't worth it. And for me personally, I don't think it's worth it. I'm only going to coin for these items when I'm close to getting to the next level of ideal land. I really don't care if I'm not going to have the same buffs as Rhythm or some of these other huge players, Papa Hodler, guys like that. Because you know what? I'm just never going to catch them. So my opinion is spend what you can. That's it. You're not going to be able to keep up with these guys. So don't go overboard. So Spiritual Beast Awakening. So they are promoting spiritual beasts a lot as they should and if we go here here's something we knew this was going to come back so they're giving everybody so i think they realize how badly everybody wants to upgrade their spiritual beasts but lots of people didn't buy them and now it sure looks like you gotta buy them right because you're missing out on a lot of buffs if you don't get them so at least there's a chance for people to recover and get those tactic research event uh other things here king's party looks pretty uh 
I feel like this should be bigger. Like, really, five blazons for me to spend 350 American dollars. That's my bonus, five blazons. Because runestones, you give out, like, candy now. So they don't mean anything. Materials don't mean too much. Not when it's 60 orange. That's, like, seven of the reds, I think. And all this other stuff is nothing. The meteoric stones are pretty good, but 100 doesn't get you much. So these rewards in the King's Party should actually be way higher and no keep at the final level. So I guess Evanese said that, hey, we got enough of these rewards on the dragon wheel that we don't have to reward people with anything else. So journey to glories, always good, free blood of heirs. Problem is everybody gets it. So it kind of tricks you into thinking like, hey, wow, Evany gave me something special, 150 blood. But if they gave everybody zero, it would be the exact same thing. So this really is just an opportunity for you to fall further behind massive spenders because they're going to get all this other stuff, right? They're going to get 150, 350, 600, 1,000, and then this 3 times 100 right there for another 300, and they're going to f go very far ahead. This appears that it was very successful for Ebony. This is the event where if you spend 3,000 gems... One, two, three, four, five days in a row, you get all these items. So this is a nice little kicker. A lot of, lot of good generals. Problem is, they never ever give away this one general pack that people really need. The General Hall 2 pack. And there's some generals in here, like uh, this guy. They're just not found in the other packs. Or is this the guy? Yeah, Hojo. They're not found in the regular general packs. So... Just another thing you're going to fall behind on with Ebony if you don't spend on those uh, those specialty packs. And spending on those specialty packs sucks because you really don't get too much out of it. Now let's look at the event center, see what else there is going on here. And so Lost Treasures. Oh, yeah, so this one's kind of cool. You just kind of, uh, you just kind of click and you get free stuff. And that's it. I just click, whatever, and you hope that you get the... Uh, you hope that you get the uh, the compass that opens it all up and then you skip to the other level. As you can see, I wasn't very uh, successful there. Oh, and here's where you could get some old cakes, I guess. So, old keeps from cakes, I mean. So, I, I actually kind of favor these ones. I like the two by two keeps you can use in Battlefield, but um, with the new uh, All-Star Finals keep that I have, which is it adds 15% march size it's just going to be very difficult to ever find anything that replaces that so there is a historic general summoning as seems to be the pattern same guy two times in a row alliance duel no one really seems to understand how it worked uh like the battles how they went uh don't think i can see how they went we moved up to gold tier I don't know if it's possible to go from bronze to grandmaster all in one, but we moved up to gold. We did very nice. We went undefeated. So I guess we're going to get slightly better rewards. And uh, it's just one of those things that goes on in the background and you don't have to do too much. Those are the type of things I like with Ebony. I hate the things where you have to log in and just constantly click, click, click. This summer festival still is going on. Oh, Delphic Oracle. Who can we win here? This is... Apollo. Have we seen him before? What's he do? Increase range. Oh, when he's the archer camp officer. Yes, we have seen him. Yeah, so I'm actually surprised Ebony hasn't made it uh, easier to get these guys. Um, like, in my opinion, how Ebony could sucker a lot of people into spending more money is give people like three of these on the spins. So then they want to spend a little bit more to get the next level and upgrade him at Blood of Errors. But then, you know, obviously Evany probably engineers something behind with the computers and makes you have to spend the whole thing and spend 250 spins to get that automatic release of him. So basically that is the event in a nutshell. There's also Barbarians, like who isn't tired of that, right? Uh, Evany keeps rolling out the exact same stuff. But uh, anyways... Focus on Yemers and uh, have a good SVS and don't spend more than you possibly, you know, than uh, will affect your life outside the game. But um, if you want to spend a few dollars here and there to increase your enjoyment, go ahead. So, oh, what would I rate this event? I'm actually going to give it uh, a pretty good rating. I'm going to say it's a three and a half out of five. 
so 70%. And the big reason is, like I said, if you spend and you, you're gonna get a lot, these blood crystals, the dragon gemstones are key, the merit jade, the golden twigs, but being able to use those dragon stones in the dragon shop, that's a, a lot of extra rewards that you can use to amplify your general's gear, if you have Civ gear, right? If you don't coin at all, then none of that matters to you and you are the biggest winner in all of Ebony. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.